you know, bison in Yellowstone National Park is, is one of the greatest conservation stories um, of wildlife in America. You know, we've gone from a population of less than 25 animals in the early 1900s to a population uh, this, at the end of the summer last year is about 4,800 animals. Uh, it's a, it is a tremendous conservation story. It, is a, it has direct links not only to, if you will, primitive America, but it also has direct links to the Native American tribes who uh, the bison is in many ways uh, uh, such an important part of their cultural history that uh, that preservation of this herd of bison and, and ultimately the expansion of this herd of bison to other public lands or tribal lands is critically important, I think, to our nation's history as well as, in some ways, our future history in ter terms of wildlife management and the, and the cultural connections, you know, with, with Native Americans. So, so yes, it is, and it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's their bison that we need to pay a lot of attention to and really effectively manage as we go forward. I don't think that there's a true appreciation by the general population of the, of the nation or, or the world. I think that there are segments of our population who does understand, and uh, there, there's advocacy groups in the, in the ecosystem that, that certainly are pushing for um, better, um, better opportunities and better management and, and more diverse management of the, of the bison in this, uh, in this uh, in ecosystem. I think that, um, that we have a chance because the bison in this ecosystem have been subjected to the stressors, the natural stressors that bison have been for a millennium. You know, they are subject to the to climate. They are subject to the predator-prey relationship. They are subject to um, just the changes in the environment and they've adapted and they continue to adapt. And there's probably no other place and no other ecosystem where that still can happen.